G'day, this is Christine from Gecko Gully. One of the things I've noticed about a lot of people is that they are really strong in posting on one particular um, method like Facebook or blogs or YouTube, but they very few people do a lot of posting on a lot of different platforms. Um, one of the problems is that you can be really, really strong with your content in one platform and then you're completely absent on any other platform. It's really important to get your word out on multiple platforms because each platform has its own um, unique advantages. So with Facebook, for example, Facebook's really good for interaction with your friends and with your business colleagues and so forth. A blog, on the other hand, like a WordPress blog, for example, is a good place to get found by search engines. Facebook posts very rarely feature in search engines, but blog posts like WordPress, WordPress posts do. So I was having a um, talk with a friend today, and you know who you are, and he was being a little bit of a sooky la la and saying that he likes posting on Facebook, but he can't be bothered posting on a blog. And so his blog hasn't been updated for quite some time. And I said, well, why don't you just copy your Facebook posts onto your blog? And I'm not sure whether people are aware that you can do that. And so I thought, OK, I'll make a little video to show you how to do that. So what I've got here is this is my own Facebook timeline. Now I can do this with anybody's post that I can access, um, preferably one which has got this little public thing up here because you don't want to go taking you know, private content that only you have access to or only a very small group of people has access to and try to put that on a public thing like a blog. So if you're going to get something from anywhere that is not something that you created, get permission from the person who created it and also make sure it's something public. So let's assume that you want to um, put something on your blog that you posted yourself. The first thing to do is see up here where it's got the date. This was one I did a few days ago. So it says 13 February at 1327. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that. Now I'm using Firefox browser, so it may be a little bit different with other browsers, but I'm going to right click on that. And what I want to do is I want to copy the link location. Okay, there, there might be slightly different wording in other browsers, but that's what I want. I want the link to that post. Okay, then I'm going to go over to my WordPress site and I'm going to go to the add new post. And all I need to do is I'm simply going to paste it. And I'm just going to hit, do control V, which is um, holding down the control key and then tapping the V. If you're on a Mac, it's command V for paste. And I'm just going to paste it in there. Now that's pretty much all you have to do. The other thing you'll need to do is give it a title. So uh, for, the t for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to bother giving it a title because I'm not actually going to publish this. But you know, you would give it a title, you'd put it in whatever category you want to do, you do any SEO stuff you want to do. If you want to, you can hit enter a couple of times and then enter some more text like um, here is a nice picture for you if I want to get ranking on Google for nice picture. We could put that in there and then you would click publish but just to show you what I'm doing I'm just going to click save draft sometimes you have to click it a couple of times there we go click save draft and wait for that to do its thing okay and then I'm going to go preview post I'm just going to right click and open that new tab so it's going to open it up and you can see here there's my WordPress post and here is a nice picture for you. Now it didn't copy in all the comments and things so you don't need to worry about people getting upset that their comments are appearing on a public blog because they're not appearing on a public blog. They're not actually there at all. But if you click on, oops I just click like so they can click like on it. Let's click on the comment thing and it takes you back to WordPress to that particular post. Okay. So it would only be people who are actually logged into Word, oh, sorry, it takes you back to Facebook, not to WordPress, it takes you back to Facebook to that particular post, okay? So that's how you do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to render this video and I'm going to put it onto YouTube. Then I'm going to put that YouTube video onto Facebook. Then I'm going to put a Facebook link, put embed that Facebook post onto my blog. And so I've got my, um, this information appearing in three different places. How cool is that? get back to me via my um, you can PM me on Facebook I'm Christine F Abella or get back to me via my blog geckogullywebsites.com if you've got any questions bye